Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle uh, ABC fully inscribed in a semicircle with the center O. As you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, CD is the perpendicular. And as a result, we get these uh, two right triangles, so this triangle uh, ADC and this other green uh, triangle uh, BDC. And the area of this uh, yellow triangle is 17 centimeter square, whereas the area for this uh, green triangle is uh, 68 centimeter square. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, semicircle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step since uh, we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, semicircle. So therefore uh, we must uh, calculate the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle first. And now let's recall this uh, crucial fact. Uh, triangles with the same height will have areas uh, whose ratio is same as the ratio of their bases. As you can see in this uh, diagram, we got these uh, two triangles, the red triangle uh, and the blue triangle, along with their uh, bases X uh, and Y respectively. Then the ratio of the red area to the blue area is going to be equal to X uh, to Y ratio. And keep in mind that their height for both of these triangle is uh, same. And now let's revert our attention back to our original problem. We can see the area of this uh, yellow triangle is 17 and the area of the uh, green triangle is uh, 68. So therefore we can see their ratio is going to be 1 to 4. So therefore uh, their bases are going to have a same uh, ratio as well. If this uh, AD length uh, is uh, one times some constant uh, k, then this uh, db length is going to be four times some constant uh, k as well. And now our task is to find the value of uh, k. And now let's assume that this uh, height uh, cd length uh, is uh, represented by h. And now we are going to think uh, outside the box. And we are going to consider this uh, whole uh, circle as you can see in this uh, next step. And I have extended uh, this uh, CD all the way to this uh, point uh, E. And now we can see that this uh, CD length uh, is equal to this uh, ED length by the definition of the symmetry. So therefore, if this length is uh, lowercase h, then this uh, ED length uh, is going to be H uh, as well. And now let's recall the intersecting uh, chords uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if two chords uh, intersect uh, in a circle, then the products uh, of the majors of the segments uh, of the chord are uh, equal, as you can see in this uh, given diagram. And here we can see our these two chords, AC and BD, intersect uh, each other such that the product uh, of this uh, segment A and this segment uh, B is going to be equal to the product uh, of uh, the segment uh, C and this segment uh, D. As you can see in this uh, equation, A times B equal to C times uh, D. And now in our case, uh, we got these uh, two chords uh, A, B and uh, C, E and they intersect each other at this point uh, D. So therefore the product uh, of these uh, two segments uh, is going to be equal to the product uh, of uh, these uh, two segments uh, as well. So therefore I can write uh, H uh, times the height H again is going to be equal to 1 times K times 4 times K. So therefore, if we simplify, we're going to get uh, h square equal to 4 times uh, k square. Let me undo these uh, squares by taking square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore, we can see our h value is going to be positive uh, 2 times uh, some constant uh, k. 
So therefore, our this uh, height h value turns out to be two times a constant uh, k. So therefore, our this uh, c d length uh, turns out to be two times uh, k. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, yellow triangle uh, a d c. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times a base uh, times height. And in our case, uh, the base of this uh, yellow triangle uh, is uh, 1k. And the height uh, of this uh, triangle is uh, 2 times k. And moreover, the area of this uh, triangle is uh, 17 centimeter square. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, formula. So therefore, the area of this uh, triangle is uh, 17 equals to a half uh, times our base is uh, 1 times k times our height is uh, 2 times uh, k. And here we can see this 2 and 1 over 2, they cancel each other out. So therefore, k times k is going to give us uh, k square equal to 17. Let me undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore, uh, we can see that our k value turns out to be square root of uh, 17. So thus our constant k value turns out to be square root of 17. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole uh, a, b, length is going to be 1k plus 4k is going to give us 5 times k. And furthermore, we know that this AB length is the diameter of this semicircle. So therefore, we can write the diameter of this semicircle is going to be equal to 5k. And we know this uh, diameter is equal to 2 times some radius uh, r. So therefore, we can write uh, 2 times radius r equal to 5 times come constant uh, k. Let's divide both sides by 2 to isolate uh, radius r. This 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore, our radius uh, r equals to 5 times k divided by 2. And now we know that our k value is uh, square root of 17. So therefore, I'm going to substitute this uh, k value by square root of 17 over here. So therefore, our radius r is going to be 5 times uh, square root of uh, 17 divided by 2. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, semicircle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula, area equals to pi r square, where r is the radius. So therefore, the semicircle area is going to be equal to this area pi r square. Let me write down pi r square divided by 2. So therefore, the area of this semicircle is going to be pi divided by 2 times uh, our radius is uh, 5 times uh, square root of uh, 17 divided by 2 whole uh, square. This is the radius. Let's simplify the right hand side. That is going to give us uh, pi divided by 2 times uh, 25 times uh, 17 divided by 4. So therefore, finally, the area of this my circle is going to be 425 pi divided by 8 centimeter square. So thus the area of this uh, semi circle turns out to be 425 times pi divided by 8 centimeter square. And in terms of uh, decimal, it is going to be approximately equal to 166.9 centimeter square. And that is our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.